Uh, hi viewers, uh, today's edition I'm going to show you how to uh, prepare spinach uh, stew or what uh, Ghanaians call contumbre and over here I have my ingredients I've already uh, cooked the spinach uh, that is right there and I have my uh, sorted fish and salmon I also have my eggplant right here for those of you who don't know uh, how eggplant look, this is how it looks. Uh, I also have my geisha. I have my blended uh, tomato and pepper. And over here I have my ginger, blended ginger, uh, garlic and onion. And I have another kind of salted pepper and uh, uh, salted fish, sorry. And I have my onions. Of course, uh, you can do it uh, away with our uh, palm oil, red oil. You can also do it with uh, any other oil, but I prefer uh, uh, red oil. So to start, I put uh, my hot oil is ready and I put the salted uh, fish in it. So the essence of it is to give it a very good taste of it uh, to my very good taste. So you put it in, you allow it to simmer a little bit so that we can, you know, get a very good taste of our uh, stew. So at this time, we're gonna, I'm gonna remove my soda fit because we've gotten, uh, you know, the way we want it. We put it aside. Then we're gonna add our blended blended ginger garlic and onion I think that uh, I have to lower it a little bit so you give it a stir With it, you wait for a little bit, you know, it just cook a little bit. So, right now, we're gonna put our, our blended uh, tomatoes and pepper in it. I hope you are following the process. And uh, if you are new to this channel, please uh, go to my YouTube channel, uh, subscribe to Global Kitchen. We have a lot of food and there's going to be a lot to come. So have some time, subscribe to Global Kitchen. So viewers, at this time, I have to uh, put the stock of the geisha. Some people put the whole thing, but on my case, I want to just put the stock, allow it uh, to just uh, cook a little bit because we all know that it's just a preservative, a preservative and uh, it has some kind of a little bit chemical in it. That's why I like, uh, you know, just cooking stuff, cooking stuff for it to cook a little bit. Now we're gonna put our eggplant in it. So every step by step, you, you realize that uh, I give it a stir, I allow it about uh, about three minutes for it to cook before I, I continue with the uh, next step. So I, I like my stuff, you know, being very cooked. Like I said, a lot of stuff uh, I canned and uh, it's, it has preservative and every preservative, uh, preser preservative sorry, uh, has some kind of chemical in it. So I take my time to allow uh, things to cook step by step so viewers now i have to put my maggie cube uh shrimp so one of my videos uh somebody was uh saying uh, uh maggie uh didn't add too much maggie and all that so uh viewers i just want to uh, tell you that uh the essence of this is just to cook healthy and eat healthy so i try not to uh i try to eliminate a lot of too much spices 
uh, in my food. But again, it's a choice. So if you are preparing it at home and you like too much uh, uh, spices, yes, you can go ahead. But when, whenever I'm cooking, I try to just go as natural as I can. Just a little bit of spices if it, if it's needed. But I don't. I try not to put too much spices because uh, not everybody like too much spices on this food. Now it's time to put in our stock fish. Also stir it. Just allow it about about a minute and a half. Look. We're gonna put our first stock fish that we used. Okay. Then I'm gonna put my salmon in. Again, you stir. Just allow for about a minute. And uh, not forgetting our geisha. Put our geisha in. Uh oh. Alright. Alright. We put our geisha in. Yes. It's kind of a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna break it in the soup we just allow it for a minute so at this point I'm gonna uh, put in my egg you just put it in I'm cooking for just uh, just few people my just my family so put it in so at this time when you put it in the egg you have to leave it like this for a while before you stir it it's gonna give it a pepper, some kind of clothing kind of thing that makes it nicer. So at this point, uh, this is um, 90% almost done with a uh, spinach stew. Uh, so I go ahead and just uh, put the yam. I'm gonna eat it with yam. I, I put uh, already uh, peeled the yam and everything, cut it in uh, smaller pieces. And I like a lot of eggs, so I already put in egg on it for it to uh, cook together with the yam. I don't want to cook it separately, it's just waste of gas. So I just cover it. This is gonna be just about uh, uh, 25 minutes and it's, it's, it's done. Because our stew is already 95% done. Viewers, so we're gonna come to the final part. Uh, that is our spinach. We're gonna put our spinach in. And if you have noticed all this while, I never put any uh, salt in it. So the reason why I didn't put any salt in it is because of the stock fish. It's already salty and the salty fish is already salty. So if you try to put in uh, more salt, you, you, you mess up the stew. So all this process have not added salt. Now when you stir the... Uh, the spinach into it and you taste it and you see that the salt is low then you can add a little bit of salt to it but when you're doing any spinach so, uh, stew and you add stock fish and salted fish make sure you don't add any salt additional salt to it so guys our spinach stew is done and we are just waiting for our yam to get cooked and we're gonna eat it with it.